Hi, happy International Women's Day. I wanted this year to just talk about some women I admire for International Women's Day. Um, these are women I celebrate always, but because it's International Women's Day, I thought this would be an apt video to make for the day. Um, these women are probably women you know, if you're watching this, uh, but I think they deserve a shout out always, and let's dive in. So my first woman is Rusty Hearts. If you watch this channel, you know that Rusty Hearts is a very good friend of mine who uh, I have known for many years and have streamed with and have just a wonderful friendship with, um, and I admire her a lot. So Rusty is the creator of the comic Least Bound. Uh, you can find that at leastbound.com. Um, a bit about the comic. Um, it's about two women, two lesbians, who accidentally rent the same apartment. <laughs> it's very cute. It's a slice of life, um, little love story. Um, and it is extremely lesbian and women focused. Uh, it's about lesbians and their lives, not only the two main characters, but the, the other friends and co-workers in their lives. And it's just a really special little, little piece of art that uh, I just enjoy so much. And there's not a lot of content out there that is like explicitly for lesbians, by lesbians, for lesbians, about lesbians, no bullshit. It's just really special, and I'm so proud of her and the dedication that she has committed to this project, um, despite any kind of harassment she gets from TRAs, any attempts to dox her, any attempts to get her platforms taken down. She persists, um, because this is important work to Rusty, and I just admire that about her so much. She is incredibly smart. Rusty is very funny. If you have been to any of the streams we have done together, uh, we are often laughing our faces off. Um, she's so hardworking and she's incredibly brave. Rusty um, doesn't let the TRAs get to her. She continues putting one foot ahead of the other and gets it done. No matter what they try, no matter how they attack her, she doesn't care and she keeps at it because she believes so strongly in what she's doing. And I think that's an incredibly admirable quality to have. So uh, for International Women's Day, I am celebrating my good friend, Rusty Hearts. I am also enjoying another very good friend of mine, Lisa Michelle. Um, I imagine if you watch my channel, you probably watch Lisa as well. And if you don't, please do subscribe to her. Lisa makes wonderful feminist content um, and her channel offers a ton of variety. Uh, she has really a body of work with something for everyone. Um, she makes videos about her fitness journey. She makes videos about um, the ways in which gender and gender activism affect women. She makes videos about pop culture with a radical feminist analysis. She makes videos about everything and she is very smart. She is a great feminist thinker. And one thing I really admire about Lisa is the fact that she is extremely authentic and also very vulnerable on her channel and her streams. And when she joins me on my channel, she is not afraid to share her real life experiences, um, her successes, her mistakes, her everything. Um, and it's all for the benefit of other women. She is so authentic she is so real and she is so great. She is not afraid to go there. She's committed to her core values. She is uplifting of other women. And I am so grateful that Lisa is my friend. Um, it's been a wonderful few years of like supporting each other and making content together. And I am just very grateful for Lisa on International Women's Day. And if you are not subscribed to her, please do because her content is full of range and it is truly wonderful and she will uplift and enrich the life of any woman who watches her content so please do um next is 
Ellie Arrow. So I don't know Ellie. Um, I don't think we've really ever spoken except for maybe like a couple of exchanges on Twitter. But I think her body of work is fascinating in a horrible and wonderful way. Um, she speaks extensively on the horrors of the sex trafficking industry um, and the legal sex trade uh, and what it does to women. Um, legal does not mean good for for the record. Um, so she primarily focuses on prostitution and pornography, but she has a wide range of work, um, responses to others, commentary on pop culture, um, and just an extensive documentation of the horrors of uh, the prostitution industry. She has a really massive body of work where she talks about um, the real experiences of women who are caught in the, uh, the sex trade, um, the men who both uh, traffic women and the men who purchase women. Um, and she just is such a wonderful and really amazing and educated voice when it comes to this topic. Um, I don't think really anyone is doing it the way Ellie is doing it. She is so committed. She has websites dedicated to her work. Uh, she is great. So I always really appreciate her voice on YouTube, on the internet, um, the podcast she is starting. Uh, I can't say enough great things about Ellie and her work. Um, I have learned so much from her channel and I think every woman could learn a lot too. So Ellie is somebody I definitely am enjoying uh, this International Women's Day and every day. Um, our next one is a gal who is a little bit of everything. Lady Labras. I encountered Lady Labras on Twitter first, um, and I just appreciated her feminist tweets. Um, she also is the creator of the Radfem library on Google Drive. Um, so she is, she's really wonderful. She's a lesbian historian. Um, she dedicates so much of her life and time to archiving feminist work, whether it's literature, interviews with uh, feminists of the past, speeches they've given, conversations that have been on television or wherever. Um, not only that, she has a massively extensive Google Drive archive of feminist essays, speeches, books, whatever you could want, she has it. Um, she also has a YouTube channel where she hosts all of the archival footage that she has. So um, links to all of her stuff will be in the description. I highly recommend following her on YouTube here and Twitter, but as well in um, taking a look at her, her archival work because whatever feminist piece of literature you want, she's got it in the Google Drive. Um, books by Dworkin, books by Catherine McKinnon, essays from Audre Lorde, like whatever you're looking for, she's got it. And if she doesn't, I bet you she can find it. So I really appreciate her. Um, please subscribe to her work because it's extremely important that all of this is archived and she's the one who's doing it. So good, to, good for her. Oh my gosh. And the last uh, feature I am going to do today is a young lady here on YouTube who I am just so consistently impressed by. Runaway Siren 940 has a prolific body of work um, and I really appreciate that she is a much younger woman she's a Gen Z woman who approaches her content with of course a radical feminist lens but she explores a lot of things that um, are relevant to young women today um, she takes popular cartoons like Steven Universe or various TikToks that she comes across um, and really gives them a radical feminist analyst analysis which I think is really, really interesting because I am a 35-year-old woman and a lot of the, you know, the Gen Z sort of like pop culture stuff um, is not, like it escapes me. I don't know what is going on, but she brings a really fresh outlook to feminism. Um, she explores gender stuff, pop culture stuff, world stuff with this younger woman Gen Z outlook. And it really like, just I just appreciate her so much because she is extremely active she is constantly putting out content there's always something new from her on my subscription page and I appreciate how dedicated she is to providing this this work 
to anyone who wants to find it. And again, especially from a younger woman's perspective. Um, I feel like a lot of, you know, the feminists that we admire are women from the past who are maybe deceased now, or they're quite older, um, you know, in their 60s, their 70s, even their 80s. And to see a young woman really taking feminism by the horns and going for it, I am just so appreciative of. Um, It gives me hope for young women um, because she is so prolific. She is so um, well-spoken. She is so active. Like, I just am very appreciative. And yeah, it gives me hope for younger women. And I I know, yeah, the kids are going to be all right. So good for Runaway Siren. I really just appreciate her so much. And that's all of the women I wanted to share with you all today. Certainly there are so many more I'm subscribed to here on YouTube, but I just wanted to give a slice of my few faves right now. Um, I am grateful for all of these women, um, especially for the ones who are very personal, close friends of mine. Um, I think the most important thing that we can do as women and feminists is fostering good female relationships with our friends, with our sisters, our mothers, our cousins, whoever. Women in our lives need to take priority. And um, that's a challenge that I will stick out here for International Women's Day. Prioritize the women in your life. Um, Really focus on those relationships. Build those relationships. Because the relationships you can have with your friends, it can be so important and so powerful and so intimate. And I don't mean like romantically or sexually intimate. I just mean that the intimacy that you can experience with a woman who is your friend, um, who has gone through the world with the same lens that you have is so powerful. And there is nothing like having good, strong, intense, committed, wonderful feminist friendships. Um, Focus on women. Women are everything. And I am so, so, so grateful for the women in my life, uh, for the friendships that I have, for the ways in which we uplift each other, and also for the ways in which we are able to respectfully, kindly, compassionately critique or um, not call out, but like bring issues or concerns or ideas that we have to these women in our lives. I'm very grateful that I have that with my friendships because I can talk about literally anything with my friends, whether it's Rusty or Lisa or other women who've had on my channel, like my best friends, T, um, and other women not related to YouTube who are in my life. Um, I can talk to them about anything, whether it's um, hard or difficult to talk about, whether it is maybe a little bit nerve wracking or you're not sure what the outcome is going to be. Um, but that's the thing is when you have strong a strong foundation to female friendships in your life, the hard stuff doesn't matter because if you care for and respect and appreciate each other, those hard conversations are only going to strengthen your connection. So I'm very grateful. I pray that all women can have as wonderful, strong, foundational feminist friendships like I am able to enjoy uh, because it is truly the best. It is a game changer in this world and it makes my life better. So um, to all of the women who watch and subscribe to my channel, I am very grateful for you as well. Um, I appreciate the support, the comments, the likes. Um, Knowing that there are other women out there who have the same ideas as I do is, it is priceless. And further, having women who maybe don't necessarily agree with everything I say, but are able to bring it to me in a respectful and thoughtful way to make me think about my ideas is, again, priceless. So thank you to everyone who is watching this. Thank you to everyone who subscribes to my channel. And thank you to the women in this world who enrich all of our lives. Happy International Women's Day. Bye.